Three Negro tourists found an hotel missing kidneys. <laughs> We're dirty dicks. <laughs> In today's video, Kevin Samuel shares his thoughts on the passport bros, and he also shares his thoughts on modern men. So let's get into it. You're going to have to have a passport because you are traveling like your godfather. Your godfather is going to be uh, uh, going international this spring and summer. God willing, and the creek don't rise. If you don't think that I would not go down to Colombia and find the best brothel with the clean, I'm not going to risk my life in Colombia trying to negotiate the Google Translate. I'm go Yo quiero Taco Bell. Where, where, uh, Sophie Vergara? Mm-hmm. Where's she at? Mucho dinero for Sophie Vergara. I speak no Spanish, but I, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mess around and be banging a man. You better get out of here. Uh, having sex with all the women and the milkmaids and everything else, and then just leaving and going from town to town, taking what they want. Those men were killed. People killed those men. Those men weren't, did not live. They were called rogues. In a functioning society or town, you don't want to see wandering males coming through. They're not rooted to anything. Being a sex tourist, AKA passport bro, is not a badge of honor. In fact, in the majority of the world, it is condemned. And we've seen many examples of foreigners expressing their dislike for passport bros, especially in countries such as Brazil and Colombia. There have been dozens of passport bros here recently who have been drugged, robbed, killed, etc. overseas. A lot of these men deliberately travel to impoverished countries in order to get women who are more desperate for money. But let's get back to Kevin Samuels and listen to what he has to say about women. You got guys who are older than me still out here ripping and running like they teenagers. And I said it years ago. How much is enough? When you're going to grow up. Pounding your chest, man. I can get. It, I think there's nothing more ridiculous when I hear a man my age talking about, I still get a lot of pussy. What? What? This is personally to me. I ain't saying you got to be that way, but I think it's rather ridiculous. It's like, ain't it enough? I mean, that that's how you that's how we rank our manhood, huh? I don't. As a man, you need to grow up. And if all you still, if all you have to talk about after thirty years old is your your sex game, and you are off, you're not keeping up with the rest of the world. I really got to say something, man. Some of you guys move like women. Are you out of your mind? Oh, that's right. You ain't got no life. You got to try to tear somebody like myself down because I'm saying something that makes you look bad. Because honestly, for your age, you're behind. You're in your 30s and you're underdeveloped. You stopped your you stopped your education at high school or college. Your emotional maturity stopped at high school or college and you're 35 or 40 year old men walking around still talking like you're in high school. But just like when I ask height, weight, dress size, a lot of men's dick get hurt. Oh, look, look at him. He's asking a height, weight, dress size and he's smacking him around. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. But when I ask, uh, do you make $10,000 a month? Oh, well, you know, I'll, you know, how many times have I had the high value show and guys want to call in? Yeah, I'm 40 years old. I ain't worked in two years, but I'm high value. What? See, money is a very firm line. That's why it's the first line. And you've heard it yourself, real time, that men have called into this show and how many men have been able to meet the very simple, the very first bar? Two. It ain't the women who are having the problem. It is you. You, 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 you. You could take all the fat, ugly broads and move them to the side. Women only follow what the men do. And that's where we have a real problem. Because as men, we know we got an issue. And if you're a loser, you know you're a loser. 
and you hate hearing people talk about losing stuff. You, you, you attract what you are. So if you're getting all these low caliber women, they're doing all this, that's what you attract because that's what you are. So you got a choice. If you don't like it, change who, change yourself, upgrade. That's number one. Number two, you get to pick. No woman's just knocking you over the head saying, Hot, take me to Ruth Chris and, and Jimmy and your credit card out of her out of your wallet making you pay. What does she bring to the table? What is the value in being with you? Outside of your resources, you get to pick any woman in your life, anybody in your life. So if you reward bad behavior, that's far down the line of the problem. You picked them. You picked everybody in your situation, vet better. Punk, you are a grown man. I'm responsible for yourself. After 18 years old, nobody owes you anything. A lot of you incels are entitled. You're entitled and you think you should get more than you're worth. But just like you want a woman who's a four or five or a six, an average woman to have average uh, wants, you should be dealing with women on your level too. Black men, like it or not, you got women in your chat room and this and that. A lot of stuff women say are not wrong. If you're a competitive man, you shouldn't care what to say. Like when I had Crystal and Karen come over here that day and I said, black men, if you got a problem with, you should not care what any woman has to say. If you're competitive, competitive men don't care because you're competing, you're winning. And even when you lose, you know you're within striking distance. But the real question is, are you truly competitive in your chosen career profession, in your chosen industry? Are you where you should be? And if not, don't get mad at high value concept, get to work. And I believe women should be hypergamous. Mm -hmm. Let's define it. Hypergamy action of marrying a person in superior caste or class. Yep, women should be hypergamous. FBI women should be. FBI women should be hypergamous. Feminine, beautiful, inspirational women should be hypergamous. Just like I don't deal with average men, I don't deal with average women. I'll stay with the 30 mile an hour dudes? No, nah, girl, I'm getting the gym. I'm gonna get my wind up. I'm gonna get my lungs up. I'm gonna give me a personal trainer because I like where these 100 mile an hour dudes is running. See, when you're, when you're 100% dude, hypergamous women don't bother you because they got to run to catch up with you. Your ambition far outstrips whatever they could want. They're worried about, keep, they're worried about keeping you. 100% men don't have to worry about keeping their women, hypergamous or not. How you keep them? Girl, if you don't get out of my face. I... If you don't get out of my face. Take this card and go do what you gotta do. Now leave me the hell alone. I got a property I'm trying to buy over here and we got a trip going. Sandy, see you out. All right, babe, peace. See, problem is, too many brothers, too many guys want that kind of outcome. You want that kind of power. You want to be able to talk to women like that, but you don't want to put the work in. You don't want to, you don't want to build the resume. You don't want to actually have it where it counts to have the real leverage. You want her to respect your masculinity and your manhood because you have a penis and the XY chromosome, they don't work that way. Women respect resources. You can't check a got nothing check, you got nothing to check with. The only place you dominate is in the bedroom. Dominate on the balance sheet. Dominate on your wallet, which is your accomplishments. Any woman that you deal, choose to deal with, her money should be no good with you if you're 100% man. You pay everything. Why? Because it keeps her in her feminine when she's with you. I don't give a shit I deal with. They know I don't care what you do when you're not with me. 
Well, you don't even tell you about the guy? I don't care. All I care is how you operate when you're here. Will that be the way it is always? No. Eventually, I'm going to pick one. I don't want a rotation for the rest of my life. Pick one, maybe two. Why? You don't need a rotation of people. I don't, the average guy don't, you don't need all that. You may want it, it's ego. But any anybody that deals with you should know what it's like to deal with you. Men should know when I come deal with er, her, when I come deal with Herb, Mr. Sparkling Water, I can't be on that book. We got an eight o'clock appointment. He means eight o'clock, not 802, not 805, not 815. When we got an eight o'clock appointment with Herb, I don't know your name, I show up five minutes early is on time when I'm dealing with him. When I'm dealing with this, with this brother, you come in with your facts, figures, data, statistics, and your numbers. When you got a 15 minute appointment, you, you have 15 minutes. You set your freaking watch, your timer, and it goes off at 11 minutes to let you know you got full mold. Full mold. That's the reputation you have when you're 100% man, and pe it precedes you. So people value your time. They value, they, they come in with their mind on business. They come in with their mind on trying to, how can we work together? How can I benefit from it? They ain't coming in trying to hustle you, side talk you, some three card Monty game. They come in with that respect. See, it's a hell of a lot easier to live life as a 100% man because everything's out on the table. Kevin just shared some great points in those last couple of clips. Most of these low ambition men all over social media would have way better experiences with women and just life in general if they prioritized their grind. You aren't entitled to beautiful women just because of your mere existence. If you want better outcomes in various aspects of your life, then you're gonna have to work for it. Modern men shouldn't feel entitled to dime piece beautiful women if they're out of shape, if they don't have their finances together, etc. And also, men need to learn how to vet and pick their options better instead of blaming women. If you as a man only attract low quality women, then you might need to take a look in the mirror. You're the common denominator. It's not always the woman's fault. Modern men need to take some self accountability and grow up. There's a few more great points that Kevin's gonna bring up. So let's get back to the video. Again, there is no cheating the game. Show your work. Men, the men who actually put in work run stuff as they should. That's why the kind of men we're talking about have options. That's why they have beautiful cooperative women. These men also don't worry about divorce and child support and family court like a lot of guys, average guys do. Let's talk about that. These guys don't worry about that. These guys have starter wives and second wives and mistresses. They don't, if they do that, they, they don't worry about, well, she's gonna take me to the cleaners. Ain't nobody worried about taking no $50,000 a year dude to the cleaners. These guys aren't worried about that stuff because they, it's just money to them. They'll go make more because they never anticipate just quitting. See, the reason these guys don't worry about the stuff a lot of average guys do is because a lot of average guys really are wanting to quit. You're really wanting to quit. You're really like, Shh, when can I retire? When can I stop doing this? These guys don't plan to stop until they die. These are the guys who are 60 years old, still getting up at four o'clock in the morning, still hitting it like they did when they was 25. That's what these guys do. They're the Dan Pinions of the world. They're, they're still full of piss and vinegar and testosterone and everything else. They are not trying to quit. We are workers. Whether we're blue collar or white collar, we are workers. Workers work. Because far too many men have become women. And I gotta say this, when a woman hears men talk about being afraid or lacking the courage to compete, he should be judged. Let's talk, this is why there is a biological imperative in women when they're around weaker men or 
men that they put in the beta role to why they're mean to them. They don't want your genes anywhere near their womb because it's bad for the species. Don't nobody got to tell you when you're 5'10 to 250 pounds, you're obese. Get your ass in the gym. Oh man, the white man's measuring standards and body mass index and all that. When you get your sloppy wet ass out of the shower and you see yourself in the mirror and you see them titties and you see them stretch marks and all this other stuff, you know damn well I wouldn't so why would you expect her to Oh man, well let me go ahead and, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a teddy bear. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm thick, I'm, I'm big bone. No, you lazy and sloppy. A lot of modern men admittingly have dating problems, yet they're not even willing to put in the work to fix them. And those problems may be a result of a bad physical shape, bad finances, etc. It's not women's fault that you choose to live an average life and get average results. The only person you should blame is yourself. Men don't play with women, with marriage, with love, and with children. If you call yourself a man and you know you are not marriage-minded, leave marriage-minded women alone. Leave virgins alone. Because you'll be the same men who'd be upset if women came and clowned uh, good men. High value men don't fear marriage or relationship because they understand that like it or not, it's a part of the puzzle. You don't find many millionaires and billionaires who are bachelors. 90% of millionaires and billionaires are currently married. And I would venture to say the majority of them have been married. Far too many guys who speak in these conversations, even if the, the perfect woman walked by you today, right now, you aren't willing to do you're not willing to pull the trigger. You're not willing to get married. You still want her to spend ten plates, and then you sit back, get out of, get out of here. Just say you, you don't, you, you, you're not, you're afraid. Just say you want to stay single for the rest of your life. Do that, but stop acting as though if you found this woman that you would be willing to marry her in short order, because like it or not, women want the security of relationship and marriage, and many of you guys who's talked the most, you're not willing to do that. And I'm fine with that, but I am making a big distinction. I am dealing with men who are in the top 10%, who want to be in the top 10% of men. And to be in that group, you're going to have to have some sort of relationship. You cannot be a single lone wolf walking around taking from other people. People want more than just your, your talent. They want your network. You gone over there with them, them, them dudes that they're talking about, you know, they want to be single until the laws change. I ain't trying to talk to y'all either. Cause the guys that are saying you're trying to be single until the laws change, you ain't supporting no channel, you ain't supporting no media, and your money ain't behind them. You have not actively formed a super PAC or you got no money behind a candidate to get anything changed. You're just, <laughs> you're just talking. When I see guys that say that, shout out to AMS, tired of these MGTOW crybabies. Now, if you weren't crying in the chat room and your title is MGTOW, I'm not talking to you. You know what I'm talking about. And I have a problem with MGTOW. I have a problem with whiners. The laws aren't going to change in your lifetime. Get over it. To the guy who said, I'm not going to, that knocks me out until the laws change, then don't say that ever again. Just say, I'm not getting married because they're not going to change in your lifetime. But that's not the reason you're not getting married because I could, I would be hard pressed to think, to see that you really have anything. Because men that have something, men that are truly high value have abundance mindset. And they ain't worried about, she ain't getting half, she ain't getting this, she ain't getting that. Nobody cares about getting half of $60,000. Everybody talked about Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos didn't complain one time and he's doubled his money. So broke dudes talking about, and, and broke. When women think of money, they think of broke. They want you to make at least what they make plus 50%. Most women want you to make double what they make. So if you're not in that conversation, bruh, it does no good to sit around and pound your chest talking about I'm out of the game. No one cares. No one came to see you. They didn't, they didn't know you were in the game. They don't even see you. 
I mean, I ain't gonna marry a woman or deal with a woman unless she comes from a two-parent household. Okay, cool. Well, then you're gonna meet a dad to be like, okay, knucklehead. They're gonna run you through the paces. So let me look at your teeth. Let me look at when you got all your own teeth. Oh no, this new this dude got caps. He ain't got, oh, man, he ain't got feelings. We can't get up out of here, man. Not for my daughter. High value men and did all that stuff. You think they're gonna let your buster ass over there and take his daughter? No. Mm -mm. See, you're not gonna get around this work component. So when I hear dudes trying to say it's not about this, not about that, not about money, and everybody's trying to cheat. You can't cheat the game, fam. Are you with my daughter? Okay, cool. You're 35 and she's 21. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, I see you, but I'm gonna need to see you. Seven years of tax returns. I'm gonna actually uh, send a. I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna do a background check on you. Gonna send a forensic account. We're gonna just make sure that you're solid and who you say you are. Then after that, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. 21. I'm 30 faker. Yeah, cool. As a 38 year old man, you need to be very clear on why you're messing dealing with a woman younger than you. If it's just a physical thing and she's not looking to be married, she's looking for a fun and a. And somebody a date older and they have new experiences, that's fine. But you don't play with young women wanting to get married, especially as men that age. You need your ass up if you're playing games. Hey, those women are supposed to be reserved for the husbands. The, the fun girls are the ones we're supposed to deal with. That's just in general, in my opinion. This is my personal opinion. But when you start talking about age gap dating, uh, I really got an issue with that. You know, it'd be one thing if you're 51 and she's 46 or 40. You're in your 20s, man. Come on, that ain't, that's not, that's not cool. Do you have the permission of her parents? <laughs> no, no, sir. I wouldn't do that. All right, but it's a journey, so it's like 18 years here. Yeah, already. I don't adults. care. I don't right. care. I don't care. So what do you think I should be doing? I don't, hey, man. Hey. 25 to 30. I'm just telling you, man. I don't want, man. You better be stepping to somebody who's in charge. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm saying, did you step to her daddy? So let's say she's 19. Let's just say she's 19. Let's just say that's my thing. I'm going to have influence because of my age and my gravitas. I know that. I'm going to go to her father, her mother, or somebody else and say, is this okay with you? And if not, they say, if they say cool, then you got their blessing, but then you better be stepping with a real plan, not just smash and dash. Or if it's not cool, that's just me, 19, I can't, I can't, I can't go sign. No, no dates, no text messages, no, 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 no DMs, none of that. Oh, absolutely not. It's not gonna R. Kelly me up in this way. You gotta be able to drink before you can, because you may need a drink after I finish time. Now, just, just, just optics. Yeah. I don't feel like that I should be talking to somebody who's not legal drinking age. I think really, if you're in college like that. I think the first line should be your mother, your father, and then work. I just, it, and I think that when you're going to be dating younger women as an older man, you have to, you have to go in with intention. Um, which probably what your mom was talking about. I get it. I get it. But you have to go in with intention because you do have gravitas, you have influence, and you can, I don't want to say manipulate, you can overly influence the situation. Um, I think it calls into question a man's intention and his leadership ability. Um, and if you're just trying to smash, Hey man, go to a brothel. If she's working there, if that's what you want to do, I mean, I'm, I'm be honest. He's in Germany. I'm gonna be honest. If you're just trying to smash something young, go to a brothel and do that. She's got to have a license or something. I mean, I'm just saying. In response to those last couple of points that Kevin made about relationships and marriage, you know, I fully agree with it. Modern men shouldn't be out here trying to manipulate women. You need to keep it real up front. If that woman desires marriage and you don't, you just want to sleep around and live a bachelor lifestyle, then don't pursue marriage-minded women. And what's very hypocritical about these self-proclaimed passport bros is that many of the countries that they travel to overseas are very traditional. Many of those cultures value marriage and family way more than the United States does. 
If you claim to be a traditional man, then you need to hold traditional values. Sleeping around with countless women, living that bachelor lifestyle is not what a traditional man does. And a lot of Kevin's followers claim to be traditional men as well, yet they're not following the values that they claim to have. Lastly, I also agree with the points that he made towards the end of this video about age gap dating. If you as an older man are going for women half your age or even younger, then you need to really have your stuff together. Especially if you intend to get into a serious relationship with her. Because just like what Kevin said, the woman's father isn't going to accept you being nearly his age or even older than him going for his young daughter if you don't even have your life together. Most fathers are very protective of their daughters and they don't want their daughters getting with a man who is living life nonchalant, especially if she were to date an older man. Now, of course, you don't have to be billionaire level rich, but you do need to at least be able to take care of yourself and his daughter. That's part of traditional values. And passport bros will often face that reality when they go overseas chasing young women. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. I know it was pretty long and Kevin brought up countless great points in this video. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section below about any of the topics that were discussed. Last point and I'll get up out of here. It's quite ironic how these self-realization male related videos had little views compared to the videos of Kevin debating with women. These are the videos that should have millions of views, not debates with women. Men worldwide need to place higher value on self-improvement. And of course, RIP to Kevin Samuels. If you didn't know by now, he died in early 2022 due to some heart problems. You can agree or disagree with the man's talking points, but to celebrate his death is very evil. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like if you did, subscribe if you're new, and stay tuned to the channel. And last but not least, please leave a comment down below. A lot of great content is coming to the channel very soon, so you don't want to miss it.